Hello, this is a coronal section of the brain and we are looking at the cerebral hemispheres, the temporal lobes, and here we have the lateral ventricles. The pathology is actually more readily seen on this surface and let me just magnify this a little. So we are seeing these little blackish spots that occur mainly in the white matter in both cerebral hemispheres. What we're looking at are small particle hemorrhages distributed throughout the white matter. The diagnosis here is fat embolism. Fat embolism is a phenomenon that occurs after injury, for example, after long bone fractures where there is fatty marrow that can get incorporated into the bloodstream. This can happen during the injury or also even during surgery, uh, for example, to fix uh, the fracture during insertion of an intramedullary nail. So these little fat microemboli, they go into the small blood vessels and they affect the lung and the brain. They can, of course, give rise to mechanical occlusion of the small vessels, but also uh, they can cause toxic injury to the endothelium. So there is usually platelet aggregation and small little tiny particle hemorrhages throughout the parenchyma, as you can see here. Clinically, the fat embolism syndrome usually starts quite suddenly and it happens about one to three days after injury. So it can be manifested as pulmonary insufficiency, for example, tachypnea or dyspnea, tachycardia as well, and a neurological symptoms such as irritability or restlessness. So these patients are initially well and then they develop these symptoms and they can progress to delirium or coma as well. There may also be resulting anemia as well as thrombocytopenia, which can give rise to a particular rash. So this is something to look out for um, in patients who have sustained a recent injury. Here is a picture of another pathological condition, and this is cerebral malaria that also gives rise to a very similar gross appearance, but with an extremely different clinical picture. Uh, cerebral malaria can also affect the small vessels of the brain, and this can give rise to multiple particular hemorrhages as well. Hence, in summary, this is a coronal section of the brain showing the presence of bilateral multiple particular hemorrhages, and the diagnosis here is fat embolism, which occurs post-injury, particularly fracture of the bones. Thank you.